Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and I'm very sorry for being so late at a, a work field day already. But nonetheless, we're going to be checking out the two amazing comics released at the same time today. We got Aspa back with a Whiplash and Illit with Cherish. Um, last week we already had It's in Kiss of Life release their comic at the same time. Now we got this year, October... The best month of the year by far. Um, Aspa, obviously. I mean, what a year they've had. Okay, Supernova into Armageddon is unbelievable. They really, really sell out to fight themselves. This year is one of the top groups if they weren't before that already. And yeah, here they are now with their next mini album following their first full album. Um, the Zolos got onto Spotify, thankfully, at least the second round of them. We still haven't gotten the first ones yet from last year. Um, and oh my god, are they incredible, especially Karina's up in uh, GZ's Dopamine, but Spark and Board by Winter and Evening, also amazing. Asper's been really doing it this year, and I'm very excited to now check out their new music video, Whiplash. Let's do it. <laughs> Teaser photos were insane. Ooh. Mm. Pink Giselle is unbelievable. Ooh. Oh my god, this beat. Very simple music video. It's more of a club banger this time. Nothing too complicated. Everything this time is in a much more simpler way than the previous comeback, but it works. <laughs> Damn, Ning Ning. <laughs> Why did you tell him Ning Ning always beeping? <laughs> Winter's voice. Damn. Ooh. Oh, that delay drop. It's a much more shut of your brain and headbang type of song. SM Bridges. I mean, uh, this is so back to the roots for them sonically as well. It reminds me so much of the Savage Era. Damn. I mean, that group shot here at the end is just. Talk about aura. Okay, Asper's Whiplash. Uh, like I said throughout, in comparison to their previous comebacks, like even in comparison to, you know, Spice in Drama last year, this is much more straightforward. It doesn't feel as complicated or experimental as some of the previous comebacks. It's much more to the point in your face club banger anthem. And like mentioned, that really, really reminds me of Savage sonically, even though so Savage was obviously a much more complicated and experimental song. Um, 
but the simplicity that we're going for you around this time both with music videos well in comparison to like drama or uh, supernova or even armageddon especially armageddon it's a much more simple music video in terms of locations and editing and everything um but it still oozes personality and its own vibe and idea and i like which in combination with the song and the direction we're going for it makes for such a nice and tight end product it like mentioned really really oozes aspa especially their early day energy and it's a banger okay the bridge is great we have some great vocal sections in there as well other than that saying mentioned a bit of a repetitive chorus but you mean that's just that's just club and house and electro um genre um as it is right and it works for me okay first listen i'm already vibing with it it's a really good song I probably think Supernova and Armageddon are better just as a whole product and you know just because there's a bit more substance to it at the end of the day but Whiplash for what it is is a really really fun time okay it, it, it suits the members a lot I think they're eating up the concept sonically it had like mentioned still a lot of other things to offer other than the chorus this was great Visually, obviously, it was insane, yet it looked stunning for her, like mentioned, she said with the pink hair, it's especially insane, that look on her, wow. It's it's oozing confidence, it's stunning, we had so many cool shots in there, nonetheless, even though it was much simpler, this here was really cool. It definitely feels more like a comeback that they felt, they were like, you know what, you already had this huge album in the middle of the year, let's still release another comeback at the near the end of the year even though that won't be as big in scale yet still make it something cool and fun and enjoyable and that is the case here whiplash great music video great title track very excited to check out the rest of the ep asper don't miss asper don't miss big big fan hell yeah we are moving over to illit's cherish my love and before we start with that i need to say I quickly want to talk about the current situation regarding this group. Remember when I reacted to them for the first time back in April when I made their debut with Magnetic? Um, I was critical, not of the song itself, but most of the direction we were going for. Um, for me, it definitely felt like um, a very New Jeans-like song. And, you know, just sonically, you if you would have given that song to New Jeans, nobody would have, you know, it just sounded like a New Jeans song. Um, I wouldn't have known back then that words like that would be so prominent these days because the cluster fucking drama that has been happening over the past few months has been genuinely exhausting and especially very unfortunate especially on Illit's side because at the end of the day these are five young idols that just debuted having no say on their music or concept whatsoever being dragged into these wars between company heads and fandoms even though they've done nothing wrong yeah these five girls right here haven't heard a single soul completely innocent they literally just started their careers they're already catched up into so much unnecessary bullshit that they like mentioned really really don't deserve and i say like this if you found yourself hating on this group and the members please reconsider some things going on with you because they've done nothing wrong like mentioned i was the same opinion with you know that the debut was very new jeans like but that does not excuse bullying and harassing these young women on social media absolutely not so yeah um unfortunately a lot of um, unnecessary hate around this group which it absolutely does not deserve the debut was great magnetic took over the charts took over social media is actually a strong song of the year contender um and midnight fiction was also really really nice i'm very excited to check out dp and the new starter track cherish my love which i heard is wisdom teeth concept i remember the time when they took out four of my wisdom team at once four years ago my face looked like that. <laughs> you know what? Not even God can stop me. I like you. I'm a diamond. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice start. 
I really avoided any spoilers, so... Ooh. Ooh, that is so Oh, that's a nice fresh pop sound. I think I actually already like this more than Magnetic. This feels so much fuller and... Oh, that's so much fun! Oh, we have a hit, ladies and gentlemen! What a nice full chorus! Much more my thing than Magnetic. Magnetic was great, don't get me wrong, but... This full chorus, this melodic long chorus with a lot of singing... Perfect. That second part here of the chorus. We were actually singing. Mm. Music video also very pretty. Oh. oh, this song is so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Again, Magnetic was a really, really good debut. Extremely catchy. But like mentioned at the end of the day, for me, it was a TikTok song. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I gave it... A good amount of listens, um, but the chorus obviously was very repetitive, um, it doesn't have that many lyrics, it was like mentioned something done for social media. This right here feels much more satisfying, much fuller, way more substance to it if that makes sense, right? Not only because of the concept with the music video on top of that, which is really nice, but just in a complete sonical song construction way. This song just feels much, 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 much better, yeah? Again, Magnetic is great. I really, really like the song, but I personally immediately love this song so much more, and this song is definitely going to be getting a lot of listens from me. You saw throughout how, how I was smiling, yeah? Because the song brings joy, it's, just, it's such a simple, easy listen, it's a nice, full, melodic chorus that has a really nice melody to it, the verses are nice, generally their vocal pictures are also really, really nice to listen to, yeah? And easy to listen to. I wouldn't even lie to you, I'm really unfamiliar me with the members whatsoever i don't really necessarily stand the group like i do with others yeah i listen to the let's music but i like don't really know much of the members i couldn't even tell you like all of them by name right now um i think that is one name but that's about it i think i think there's moha or more kind there too they've been for me thus far more of a only music group for me you know which is also totally fair um and sonically, they as a group have a very nice, relaxing vocal color to it. Yeah, where everybody in the group has a very, very, yeah, easy, easy listening pattern, which all together just makes makes for such a good listening experience. And Cherish My Love just delivers in that sense so, so well. Such a nice, refreshing sound. Music video really pretty and a nice concept to it. This is such that nice, bright, 
bubblegum pop even you could say that especially now after listening to whiplash is always welcome right and i think it's so important to have that i think it's so important to have so many different directions and so many different patterns and so many different colors with the sonical direction of k-pop groups you can have the heavy loud more grittier stuff but you also want those softer brighter more comfortable listening things right and i really like both songs um whiplash and cherish my love um and while whiplash would definitely be the song i will find myself being like you know going crazier to cherish my love is a type of song that i would probably end up listening to more simply because it's such a nice song and such a full and satisfying sound it's also satisfying that's also what i really need to say because the debut p and magnetic were really short um and i felt like we definitely could have done more with the potential that those songs had at the end of the day like mention magnetic was more of a tiktok song though so it wasn't surprising that they just really wanted to camp it to what's necessary cherish my love is nearly three minutes long uh, has a nice bridge nice outro to it full chorus that we hear three times throughout beautiful amazing first comic for elite very very excited to check out the rest of the ep i loved it a lot i really enjoyed both comics here today like mention october has been so incredible and what a day it's been now here as well i had a lot of fun with both these music videos and i hope you had fun with my reactions if you did leave a like down below to show me that you did your thoughts on both songs down below in the comments as well and as always if you enjoyed what i'm doing if you want to support me later leave a sub as well it would help me a lot um yeah we'll be checking out the piece for myself uh, because i even though i already had such a busy day i still have some more stuff to do so yeah just want to enjoy the songs for myself now even though i really should get back to listening to some more b-sides again or react to some more b-sides uh but anyways fingers for tuning in i will be a wonderful remaining day and i see you soon with more k-pop reactions thank you for watching and bye